Um, my name is Holly Payne and I went to Monte San Angelo. The name of my project was What Would You Choose? I made a watch and glasses out of wood and it was sort of to highlight the unsustainable um, nature of plastic and my concept is based around wood and how it's such a, sta a sustainable product and plastic is such a damaging product because it's like the toxic emissions um, from pollution and incineration and the production of plastic as well as um, like it's damaging to wildlife and the landfills are aesthetically damaging to our planet and so um, I definitely decided to go with wood and make it and highlight that plastic is such an unsustainable product. Because we've become so dependent on plastic these days that I thought it it's become really important to make people aware that it is possible to use wooden products instead of plastic. Well my project was entirely like based on prototypes and like the evolution of um, a project because I never had a set idea of what I was sort of going to finish with. I started out wanting to make homewares out of wood but it sort of evolved into accessories um, based on like current products on the market and future trends and things like that. The prototypes were like my main thing that got me to the final result. Like I would rely entirely on them to sort of like work or not work or stuff like that. And then I would use that and then compare them to the original drawings and modify um, my drawings to fit what was sort of evolving through the prototypes. And I always went to like teachers and like I would ask people's opinions on my prototypes to see what I could improve on and just so my end result would be perfect. I would say the main challenge in making my project would be that I'd never worked with any of my chosen materials before or any of my chosen techniques, like I'd never used the laser cutter before and I'd never worked with wood before. The main problem with the watch and like researching um, mechanisms was how to like clasp it, so like how to put the watch on. And I, be, like from the beginning, I really wanted to have like a clasp so you could open it and close it, but that didn't really work out because otherwise then I'd have to bring in a whole new like um, material like being metal or that because wood would just be too fragile that it would snap off. So then I made it like a stretch watch um, which then I had to test lots of different um, like techniques on how to thread it and what, um, what elastic I should use and things like that. You research like your products and you find out the properties like the properties of aeroplane ply that I used were um, that it's very fragile because the thickness of it was like less than a millimetre. So you find out like through testing and experimentation that it's very, they're very fragile. Um, and like I found that working with the laser cutter was difficult because you set the template too thick and it would burn the wood or you set it too fine and it would not cut through the template, you'll eventually get to know the things that you're working with. I went to a lot of people to gain advice, so I went to an optometrist to help me with fitting lenses and helping me with like um, finding hinges and nose pads and things like that and like she helped, she gain, gave, gave me a lot of advice in how to do things. Like she didn't really do anything for me, but she helped me a lot along the way. I also went to a watchmaker. I remember um, I went to a watchmaker begging him to help me because no one else, everyone else refused me. You might just go to them to help you source something, but they end up helping you with advice and things like that, which I also found really helpful. Because they're accessories and I think they're on trend in current society, like I could go out in the streets and wear my watch and I think it's satisfying to look at an end project and be really proud of it knowing that it worked.